Hi folks, it's Wednesday the 22nd of June. Guess what Mick's going to be planting tomorrow. Oh, I've got the leaves are picking up but they're not as good as I'd like them to be. I have got some plants on order but I'm going to stick mine in the ground just to see how they go on. Did 26 holes there. Not sure how many plants I've got. So I haven't did this row yet. Set them six inches apart and the two rows will be 18 inches apart. I have planted my sunflowers today <laughs> and I don't laugh. But they're struggling like hell in the pots at home. Excuse the long grass, I ain't got to that bit yet. But we have started putting fresh growth on the top, but all that wet spell we had, it's absolutely manged up with lower leaves. So they've got two choices, they either grow in the ground or they don't grow. Look at that, <laughs> six inches high at the minute, another nine and a half feet to go. Yeah, it's a laugh in it. Oh, so what else have we been doing? Oh look, flowers coming on my smudge. Man gardener. Yes, let's bring in some harvest. Swiss chard, the stepdaughter. A few leaves of that. And look at the size of these bloody strawberries. The size of it. No. Oh. Look. Oh. No doubt my granddaughters will benefit from these. So yeah, still we're still pulling in the straws. So Mick started harvesting. So just quickie folks, I should be back with another clip shortly of what I'm getting up to for the rest of the week. So bye folks. For now, I'll see you in a second. Hi folks, it's now Sunday, June the 26th. God, we had some rain last night, it really came down hard. It battered a few plants. I've had to stake up a couple of my Swiss chard, because they got battered. Everything else seems to have uh, got through it. So yes, not too serious. I have changed the cloches on my brassica bed. These are Enviro mesh cloches. There's a reason for that. I've now got my first row of Swede in. I needed these cloches because, as we know, pigeons love Swede. Put them next to my parsnips, which are really shooting up now. Mare's tail, that bloody beetroot. So, what else have I planted this week? Well, I've put my first leeks in. They look puny. I have topped and tailed them, even though I've looked at several articles that says it doesn't make the slightest bit of difference. But it, I did find it easy to put the leeks in the holes. With this rain, I see the holes are starting to fill in already. We'll see how they go. I did say on the first clip I was going to set two rows but I've had an email from Sutton Seeds. The plan B was to order some leek plants in because I wasn't sure about mine. Apparently they're being delivered next week. So <laughs> I've just set one row of mine and I'll set two rows of uh, the ones I've bought. It'll be interesting to see how they compare. I bought below zero leeks because they'll be staying in the ground quite a while. These are mussel bro. They still look puny but they're not dead. So that's a good sign. 
Now, onions. It appears we have a problem on our side. We're getting infested by a little beetle that absolutely plays havoc on your onions. Two of the plot holders have had to just dig all their onions up and peel them to get these beetles out. The first sign is the leaves go get black blotches on them. I've been checking mine every day. Nothing as yet. In fact, these onions, the leaves are starting to brown off. So I don't think it's going to be long before we start to pull these. They're certainly getting to a decent size now. I don't like them too big. I like them small and strong. Bit of bite to the taste. I can't show the sunflowers, they're pathetic. The cows still don't seem to be picking up a lot, but it is thickening out a bit, so. I've had to stake one of my bustles. It started flopping. But I expected to stake them at some stage anyway. My runner beans. Funnily enough, no problem with this wigwam. No problem with this wigwam. Put the wigwam next to this horrendous plot. I'm getting some slug damage. I wonder where they're coming from. But I see he has spent a bit more time. He's done a little bit of clearing. But we'll see. Right, what have we been up to then? My tomatoes are still alive. Hey! <laughs> Look a bit scrawny. Well, that'll improve. Put the second batch of peas in. I think third batch, I'm just going to say the seeds direct, see how they go. I'll have to stick some canes through the wire, because my wire was all bent for some reason. Just strengthen it a bit, Keep, I like things nice and straight. So yeah, they're in. And I've got a load more Rondo dwarf beans to put in this week, which will fill this first row. The tender greens are all germinating now, which will fill this second row. So yeah, looking good. Sweet corn still alive. Just worried about my onions. I don't want this bloody beetle. The strange thing is, I've noticed that Lens pulled all his overwintered onions, which have got the beetle. Yet the ones he's planted in the spring all seem okay. It just seems a bit weird that. <coughs> this sweet corn now. Jealous. So yeah, just a quickie folks. Bit of an harvest today. The strawberries are slowing down now. But we started picking some raspberries. Mm. Because that section at the back, the overgrown section, there's still some raspberry canes in there. So I'm not going to dig them up until I've took all the fruit off them. Uh, oh, shout out for this week, Jason Ward, I'll add a link to his channel in the description box, he did a very good update the other day, I think he's only got 80 subscribers, so pay him a visit, and I think that's about it folks now, because it's darkened up and it looks like we might be getting for another onslaught, so, catch you all again folks, from Newark, this is the bed they got the makeover this morning, as you can tell. Oh, just show you my sage. Give me time that I planted the other day. They seem to be growing up there nicely. Should bring onions. So that's it for now, folks. It's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from the meerkats. Happy gardening. Bye.